Hey guys, White Out here. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys a tutorial on how to use the picture-in-picture -picture method that you might see in game. And if you're unfamiliar with this, um, it's a pretty cool thing to learn, and because you can play with it quite a bit, um, it's pretty flexible. So what it does is, if you're a first person down here in the bottom right corner while you're running around, it will show a picture in a picture of like video or something like that. So you could be like filming a an area in night vision as this like there's you know uh, an overwatch team watching an AO you can actually view it down in the bottom right corner while you're somewhere else it's pretty cool um, I'll show you a little demonstration on what it looks like uh, so all you really need to do for this is just lay down um, yourself so the person you're gonna play and I'm just gonna play as a marine team leader and you can pick anyone that you want Now you want to pick what video it is that you want to be recording. So you can choose what the target is and you can set them as triggers. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be filming myself from a different location. Now uh, you can do this with another player if you want or you could be doing it from an object. So we're going to put uh, and you can put it anywhere. It's going to follow you no matter where you are. So if you're like 100 miles away, it's going to follow you even if you're that far. Uh, it's going to be hard to see though, of course. So let's just place an object. It, so all you have to do is push F1. And then go to Empty. And then select any kind of object you want. Um, in this case, I could just use a backpack if I want to. And I've tried a lot of different objects, so you can use any object that you would like. Okay, so now you have your camera, and you have what the camera is going to view. So what we're going to do is uh, link the two together to understand what they need to do. So all you have to do is go to your modules, and then stay on miscellaneous, and go down to live feed init. That's basically initialization. Okay. Now, let's see, it's been a while since I remember this. Um... You have your live feed in it, and that's going to be where the live feed's going to uh, relate to. So then you want to synchronize it, I believe, to the person that you want to see the picture in picture. And go ahead and go back to your modules. Um, stay on the miscellaneous. Then you want to go to set source. Or no, let's set target target is going to be the person that is going to actually I'm not sure if you can synchronize it to the live feed or you, the team leader I don't know if it'll I guess we can try it we'll see if it connects the two and then you want to go back to your modules again open up your miscellaneous and then go to set source source meaning what the source of uh, the camera what what what's the camera going to be? We, of course, we're going to ungroup everything. Synchronize it to the backpack. I believe this is saying that the source is going to be attached to the camera is going to attach to the backpack, but view the target, which is going to be the team leader. I guess we better synchronize that. Synchronize the target to the team leader and synchronize live feed to the team leader. And I believe that's it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move it over here so it's easier for the camera to see. Let's see if this bad boy works. Of course, we have the long loading period between loading in the game and loading out of game. It's one thing I hope they change in the game for before the release is the loading times take forever there we go it worked don't mind the little script error that's because I have my show script errors on instead of my no splash so as you can see there's the backpack up ahead and then the picture and picture in the bottom right so we'll go ahead and run to it and as you can see, the camera is going to follow it. And if you look in the bottom right, the camera is actually moving side to side because I'm moving side to side. And it will follow it.
You can attach these to vehicles. It will stay attached to the vehicle and watch any target that you would like. Believe it or not, Arma 3 actually uses the same method for their picture-in-picture -picture inside their vehicles. So there you go. There's a quick uh, little tutorial on how to use the picture-in-picture. -picture. Um, as far as vehicles go, they work. Uh, works well with but if you want to attach it to an aircraft it's weird because it kind of glitches if you attach it to an aircraft it will actually stay in place like you know it won't follow the aircraft at all so keep that in mind but yeah that's it that's all you have to do for a picture in picture um, it's a pretty cool little thing you can play with like I said it's pretty customizable if you're somewhat familiar with scripting so Figured I'd share this with you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you liked the video, then why not like, hit the like button. Thanks for watching.